Hey, how's it going guys? Trexo here, and today we're doing another Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon speculation video of sorts. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about and speculating about the story. Because in a trailer, in an interview, actually it was in an interview, not a trailer. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, I'm not going to look it up because I'm already recording. But they said that the story was going to be about twice as long as... Sun and Moon's original story was. Now that is kind of impressive because the original story of Sun and Moon is probably one of the longest, if not most, drawn out stories ever in a Pokemon game. And it honestly wasn't as good as the other ones, which hopefully they can figure out how to improve on that to make the story a little bit better. Because the original story, it lacked, you know, it all happened within about an hour of game time, like every Pokemon story, I, I guess you could say, but. I feel like we can start to, you know, increase the level of storytelling to like the likes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, or maybe even better than that. I think is we should have some development. Now that we have the graphics pretty much situated, that's always been a major gripe with Pokemon. It's like the graphics aren't good. What is this crap? But I think with it going to the Switch, now is the perfect time to start focusing on story and make they even solidify Pokemon as like a um, franchise not for just kids but for all people to play and I think Sun and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is the perfect time to do that as we are bringing in all of the past evil bosses into this new game now what could they do with this story to make it more interesting well <clears throat> it really just depends my voice is really ooh, ooh. <clears throat> excuse me but I think what we can do here is you know, not have the whole story, just not have like the classic Team Rocket, or not just like a grunt in general, not just have like a few grunt battles for the first half of the game, and that's it. No, like have some character development, like develop, have us figure out the reasoning that isn't just money, or isn't just world domination. Come up with some literal physical reason, like in Diamond Pearl of Cyrus. I want to see that in the game. I would love to see some sort of story I can feel much like a mystery dungeon give us a purpose to save the world not just cuz your talents do it and that's how you beat the game I really want to feel it and how can I do this well Lucy me needs to come back I think she's coming back I'm not sure I'm pretty sure she is though it's supposed to be an alternate timeline to Sun and Moon so um, all the characters are still there and I just thought about something about how Cyrus came back because if it's an alternate timeline it could mean it's alternate also an alternate timeline from Diamond Pro Platinum that's another story for another day who cares but, um, what is Ultra Moon? Storyline. We have introduced a lot of new things. The Ultra Wormholes are obviously going to play, play a huge role in what the story is going to, what's going to happen to this story. Um, the new Ultra Wormhole Police Force. I don't remember the name on top of my head. I'm not going to look it up, but you know who I'm talking about. The new people. It's basically like the Aether Foundation for the Wormhole Foundation, but it's like inside the Wormhole world. It's not in the actual overworld. So, what can they do? What, how are they going to integrate everyone? So I think what I think is going to happen is you're going to be teaming up against Aether and Team Skull and all the other teams with the task force that is within the wormhole. Because obviously they don't want some random people coming in and stealing all of their stuff and using it for their own good. But at the same time, they could also be evil and trying to exploit the... Um, Ultra Beasts and are actually teamed up or are a separate faction of the Aether Paradise or the Aether Foundation So either way that could be pretty interesting to see how that works out But at the end of the day Pokemon just needs to up their storytelling game now. I am not shh, I'm not you know a storytelling Connoisseur I'm not good at it. I, I'm decent though. I've I've written a few stories in my day They're pretty decent. They got A's in class. So, you know, I, I'm not gonna say I'm terrible at it, but at the same time I know there are people that Pokemon can bring in to write an outstanding story. Because obviously they're making the money for Pokemon's doing amazing. Nintendo's doing amazing. Game Freak's doing amazing. They've got the money and resources to do it. So I really just want to see them do it. I think that having a deeper storyline than what they originally have will help them do it. And I think that incorporating more than just legendaries into the story. and Have like, I know in Sun and Moon they took strides in the right direction with bringing in Lusamine. Um, Lily and Gladian storyline that was pretty interesting, but build on that. I want to see that continued. I want to see that storyline developed a little bit more as to why they fell apart, not just that they fell apart 
because Lily didn't want to um, give up Cosmog to lose to me. Like, build on that. That's a great foundation. Now, build on it. Show us how Lily escaped. Show, and they show us how, but, like, show us the build up to Lily escaping. How she managed to pull off that feat, because as a girl who's scared of Pokemon battles, she obviously had no help in Pokemon, because she is so incredibly scared of them, except for Cosmog. So, I would like to see that built on, upon in Pokemon Sun and Noon. With all that being said, let me know what you guys think what could, they could do to the story to make it more interesting. And with all that being said, oh, actually, 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 scratch that. We need to talk about the Rainbow Rockets. I almost forgot about them. The Rainbow Rockets, are they going to be post-game? Are they in the game? I think they're going to be post-game. Apparently, that's what it looks like it's going to be, according to leaks. Um, I haven't looked at a single leak, so I don't know. This is what I've seen on Twitter. But I want to see... The Rainbow Rockets involved in Justice into the in-game storyline, not just post-game. Which, if they're just post-game, I'll make the post-game incredible, so okay, it's a win-win situation, but I would like to see them in the main game as well to build up on that amazing story they need to push sales for Switches so that people are going to want to buy the new Pokemon games. With all that being said, let me know what your thoughts about that. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below because it is greatly appreciated, but I'm out of here. See you later. Bye!